Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making a requested video. When out on the roads, I often get asked about my roof racks. So it's no surprise to me that questions have popped up here on YouTube as well. My very discreet pitched roof racks are something I designed myself and had a welder put together for me. So in this video, I'll go into depth about what they are and I've created a PDF with technical drawings that you can purchase for a few dollars through a link below. My van is a Dodge Ram 1500 Regency model conversion van from 2002. Like many conversion vans of different brands, it has a fiberglass bubble top that is shaped a little bit like an upside down hull of a small boat. It's tilted in on the sides and pitched almost to a point when looking at it from the front. It's very hard to find any roof racks that are suitable for a van with a bubble top like this. The only ones I ever found to purchase were really expensive and extremely big and bulky. When I made the first chicken scratchings for the design of these roof racks, I knew I wanted them to be sleek and pitched, both to follow the shape of the bubble top and to yield a little bit more power out of the solar panels I was planning to place on there. I'm not gonna go into details about solar panels and ultimate angles, as it's not something I'm an expert on, but basically any angle will yield more power than placing solar panels flat. The best place to fasten a rack on my van and many vans like it is to utilize the rain gutters right at the base of the bubble top. After a bit of research, I found some pre-made gutter mounts made out of steel plate that would fit the gutters on my van and be easy to weld a rack onto. This way, my welder wouldn't have to figure out how to make the clamps, and at $60 for six of these with free shipping from Amazon, that was definitely going to make the racks less expensive in the end. So I took my chicken scratchings to my local welder and he did an absolutely smashing job putting the racks together using mostly one inch square steel pipe and some great welding skills. I really need to learn how to weld because I would have loved to tell you that I made these myself. Alas, I did not. However, I did paint them myself. After lightly sanding the racks, I applied a couple of layers of Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel, which is fast drying, and then a clear coat as well for extra durability. With the racks now white, the same color as the bubble top, they ended up really low-key, just the way I wanted them. Now, almost two years later, a bit of rust has started showing up here and there. So before the start of making this video, I decided to touch up the paint, and this time I used Rust-Oleum Farm and Implement paint. The same paint that I used when giving the entire van a new paint job recently, which I also have a YouTube video on, in case you haven't seen that yet. Anyway, back to the roof racks. When looking at the van from the front, you can barely see the roof racks at all due to the shape of the bubble. The one out of the three racks that's closest to the front is as low to the bubble as we could go without it actually touching. My reasoning for that was to keep it all as aerodynamic as possible. My thought is that the front of the bubble top would push the air up and over the racks. Now I'm no physicist, but I can only feel a slight difference when driving now with the rack on there in comparison to what it felt like before I added the racks. My main reasoning for these racks, as I said, was to put solar panels on my van. I have 200 watt Renegy solar panels placed lengthwise on the driver's side of the van. My reason for doing that is so that I would have the other side of the rack available in case I wanted to transport a paddleboard or anything like that. I haven't ended up investing in a paddleboard yet, but if I do, I imagine that the slight slant of the rack will likely help me get the paddleboard on on and off the rack. I would add some kind of hooks or stoppers on the side in order for it to be more secure up there, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. To make sure the solar panels are really sturdy on the racks, they are placed into these aluminum L tracks. The tracks were first fastened, connecting the racks, and then the solar panels are drilled into the L track. I want to show you how these gutter mounts are gripping onto the gutters of the van. There's basically two pieces of steel plate, a one inch bolt, a washer, and a nut. I've cranked it on there real good with the use of a socket wrench. 
I've filmed the rack and my solar panels from the side here so that you can see how low profile and blended in the racks are. I decided to run the cables from the solar panels down the back of the center rack and I placed the cable gland on the side of the fiberglass bubble, which I think was a great option because I must assume that it's even less likely for any water to leak in than if the gland was placed on the top of the roof, which is the most commonly used option. I also painted it all white to make it more discreet. As I had these racks made a couple of years ago, way before I started this YouTube channel, I didn't have the thought then to film and document while they were being made. But as I like to make things in connection with my videos, I came up with the idea of making technical drawings for the racks and selling those for cheap. In case any one of you watching this would like to make or have similar racks made by somebody else. So I climbed onto the van and took all the necessary measurements. I invested in a protractor in order to measure where all the angles ended up. And even though I pre-purchased the gutter mounts for my racks, and you can do the same by clicking the link in the description below, I still measured up and made drawings for the mounts, in case you or your welder would prefer to make them from scratch. One upside that I could see making them from scratch would for example be that you can choose to replace the hole in the middle of it, which is meant for tie downs, and place two smaller holes on the side of the center bar instead. That's what I would do if I was to remake these today. Anyway, the PDF I have for sale includes very detailed drawings with all the necessary measurements and angles, a list of materials needed, a few instructions and tips in regards to the making and use of these roof racks, plus a few pictures of the finished racks. All to make sure that you or your welder could be successful in recreating these racks. I can only guarantee that they fit to this exact model of van However, quite a few different models of Dodge vans and even other brands have the same shape and gutters, so it's likely that they will fit quite a few different vans. Should you choose to purchase these technical drawings, I suggest that you double check all measurements in comparison to your van before using them to make racks. The PDF will be emailed to you upon purchase and you can easily print them using your home printer. This video can serve as additional information and a 3D view should you need it. And if you happen to have a van that's slightly different to this one, perhaps this video has just given you an idea of how you can design your own rack. Oh my god, mom, that took you long enough, didn't it? You spend way too much time on YouTubes. Alright, alright, Tor, I'm just trying to make a living over here. Okay, whatever. Let's go on an adventure. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, check out my growing number of videos related to DIY and van conversion.